So today we are finally moving back into our place. So our friends left yesterday, so today we're going to head back over to our place. We went there last night to kind of just check on things. But today we're going to clean our place and then we are going to finally move back in for good. And I am so, so excited. is gonna be a hot day. It is nine o'clock and it, we are already sweating. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting day cleaning and moving back in, but here we go. So we ended up getting the place cleaned within like two hours, a little over two hours, which was amazing. I think it really helped having two of us. We kind of took our own sections and just smashed it out, which was great. It was also, and it is still is, very hot. So we were like, okay, let's get this done. Went to the cafe for a little brunch which was so nice. Dan just ended up getting on the mower and we kind of both agreed that we were just going to wait to move the majority of our stuff over once it wasn't so hot, but it's like middle of the day, it's 2 p.m. And he's on the mower, so I am making the first trip. So we are officially moved back in. Yesterday, I think I did three or four trips over with some of our stuff. And we have a couple of storage bins that are over at Dan's parents that my thought is moving back in, we're only gonna move back in the things that we really want and need. So that's gonna require us to go through some of our stuff and just really figure out what do we want, what do we need before bringing just everything back here. So we're going to go through our stuff, probably donate some stuff, get rid of some stuff. And yeah, it might take a little bit of time, but that's okay. For those of you that don't know, we actually live on Dan's parents' property. So they bought almost 30 acres and gave Dan a part of the land to build our shipping container home, which is where we've been living for the last two years, maybe. I think we moved in in 2021. So yeah, over two years. Hopefully I got that right. <laughs> so we live over here, but since our friends were staying here in our place, 
I moved over to Dan's parents' house. Dan was away at work, so I was over there. And then yesterday we were finally able to move back over here. And I'm just so excited to just really settle in and make our place our place again and decorate it for Christmas. So we got our ornaments and these cute little letters that I got, they actually turn on. Let's see if they have still work. Oh, they do. So I kind of like hung them with our stocking over our fireplace to kind of show whose stocking it was. So Dan has his D, super cute. That's our Christmas tree topper. There's our tree. We're gonna decorate later once it gets a little bit cooler, but I am so excited. All right, we have my favorite Christmas movie on. Luna is ready to be my little helper. Are you ready, Luna? <laughs> Time to set up the Christmas tree and put up our decorations. Yeah, I see him. What a little cutie. Or resident, resident wallaby. So cute. Okay, I just had to do a quick change into a sports bra because I am sweating putting up our Christmas tree. <laughs> and I'm only, I'm on the second tier. There's three tiers. This is so weird for me. <laughs> I'm used to putting up the Christmas tree or bringing in the Christmas tree from going to get the Christmas tree from cutting the Christmas tree down. So I'm not even used to a fake Christmas tree, but it is hot today. I kind of miss putting up Christmas decorations with the fire on and being all cozy, but I'm excited for when our decorations go up and our house feels like Christmas. <laughs>